Are you ready for some Jersey? Well, we've got Jersey. The zipper was made here. The light bulb was made here. The color television calls the Garden State home. Everybody wants to know about New Jersey. Sandy beaches, beautiful cities. We even have the Jersey Turnpike. Inventors, music, the movies. You need an exit? We got them too. You want Jersey? This is Jersey. So Dennis, tell me about the athletic program here at Modern Day Prep. Uh, we have a lot of opportunities uh, for our students. Uh, we have all the basic sports that any other school offers. Uh, this year we started women's ice hockey, uh, which has been a nice, unique thing. Uh, we're the only team uh, in the Shore Conference in Monmouth and Ocean County that has a women's hockey team. Where do you practice that? Uh, we have a rink opened up last year. Uh, it's about a mile and a half from the school. Mm -hmm. uh, the girls go there in the morning and they practice in the morning. And they come back and they go through the rest of their school day. Uh, so the convenience of the rink has really helped us at the start of the program and we play our games there as well. So it's really a nice, we've had great success with it in, in year one. Mm -hmm. And that you have boys as well? No, we don't have boys right now, uh, but we do have a boys club on campus uh, between St. Mary's School and Modern Day Prep. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a club that meets uh, once a week through the fall and then we have our kids over there going to start middle school league mm -hmm. with the plan being having men's hockey here at Modern Day going forward. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your basketball program. Our basketball program uh, competed very well this year. Uh, girls finished 13 and five, uh, went to the state playoffs. They uh, lost in the short conference. Boys were just a little bit below 500, mm -hmm. uh, but they actually had a pretty good season. Specifically, the girls did a nice job. Mm -hmm. What about your football program? Our football program had the best season it's had uh, in a very long time this year. Uh, they went to the semifinals of the state playoffs. Uh, they were finished eight and three. Uh, football, you know, we lost to the eventual state champion, St. Joseph's from Hamilton. Uh, it's the best the football program has done since 1999, and we've really had a resurgence uh, in our football program. Why is sports so important to young people? There's always tangible evidence uh, for students that they learn about uh, values such as responsibility, respect, accountability. Uh, they get that in athletics. They know that if they put the time in and they do their hard work, they get to see the, the fruits of their labor, so to speak, immediately. Whereas in, their, in the classroom, they have to work a lot harder and might have to wait a lot longer to see the results. So for young people who like to see things immediately, uh, they, they want instant gratification, so to speak. In sports, there's still a work, hard work has to take place, but they do see the results, I think, a little bit faster. And that's good for uh, young people to learn that when you work hard, good things happen. And the process of athletics, of doing the hard work, being accountable, being responsible, those are the things that are going to help them later in life. They learn life lessons in athletics. How about being a team player? How does that fit into all this? Well, you learn that you know, it's not just about you, that you're part of a larger group, you're part of an organization. And I always, when I speak to kids about that, I always talk about you know, someday you're going to be out in the, in the real world and you're going to be working for a living and you're part of an organization and your contribution to the organization is going to benefit that organization. Same thing with your team. Your contribution to your team has the same effect on how well the team's going to function. And I always try to relate it to them later in life so that they're out there working for a corporation or working, maybe working for themselves someday. They understand that the work they do, number one, affects everyone else, and in the bigger picture, it affects the success of the organization. And we try to relate that to how it works with their team. Dennis, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.